Australia is one of the most unique and awe-inspiring destinations in the world. Home to the Sydney Opera House, Ayers Rock and the Great Barrier Reef, a trip down under has become the ultimate in holiday experiences. The flight time may be long haul, but Thomas Cook, in partnership with Qantas Airlines, is making Australia more accessible and affordable than ever before. Queensland is Australia's perfect natural holiday playground. The Sunshine State offers a stunning range of holiday locations and experiences ideal for singles, couples and families. Along the way are picture-perfect beaches, idyllic tropical islands, cosmopolitan cities and of course the two R's, rainforest and reef. And with a warm tropical climate and a laid-back lifestyle, Queensland is ready to fulfil its potential as a viable competitor to the ever-popular tourist markets of the Caribbean and Florida. Thomas Cook have always understood the importance of providing a tailor-made product for the customer. A product that will provide comfort, enjoyment and an experience to remember. And now, in collaboration with Qantas Holidays, they can offer fantastic Queensland holiday packages with tailor-made products, accommodation and excursions across the state. As one of the world's leading global airlines, Qantas Airways offer the traveller a comfortable, reliable and comprehensive service founded upon 80 years of experience in the industry. Qantas Holidays are the preferred Emerald Long Haul Supplier for Thomas Cook and provide an exciting range of accommodation and activities throughout Australia and across much of the world. Qantas currently operates 27 one-stop services a week from London to Sydney, Melbourne and Perth via Singapore, Hong Kong and Bangkok with onward connections to Adelaide, Cairns, Brisbane and Darwin. This includes daily flights to Bangkok, 17 flights per week to Singapore and three per week to Hong Kong, increasing to four in November 2005. Together with British Airways, Qantas offers a total of 48 return services a week to Australia, together with an extensive domestic network within Australia. No matter which part of the world customers are planning to visit, Qantas will get them off to a perfect start. The airline's professional and friendly service ensures that their trips are restful and comfortable from the very beginning. On all Qantas flights out of London, ergonomically designed slimline seats have been installed to give customers greater comfort with extra head and neck support. Customers can also enjoy added luxuries such as a personal in-seat telephone, touch screens for the latest multi-channel entertainment and also an inviting range of menu options offering larger meal portions to cater for every taste. A new range of specially selected premium Australian wines are available to complement the meal whilst the Q refreshment bag is also provided to provide a tasty snack between meals. Business class customers can also enjoy the award-winning Skybed. Offering outstanding comfort in every position, the unique cocoon style design also offers customers new levels of privacy, convenience and flexibility. Measuring six and a half feet long and almost two feet in width, the Skybed also boasts extensive seat adjustment controls and cushioned lumbar support and the added luxury of a back massage feature. From romantic holidays at resorts that offer privacy and intimacy to adventure holidays camping under the moonlit sky to pure luxury and indulgence with their collection of luxury resorts in premium locations, Qantas Holidays can cater for every customer need. The Qantas Holidays brochure carries the Thomas Cook recommended label. This is a partnership that yielded a fantastic annual turnover of £10 million in 2004, so expect a tremendous demand for Australia during 2005 and beyond. This exciting market is bursting with even greater potential and remember that for every Qantas holiday you sell, your Thomas Cook store makes a 16% commission. Your in-house diamond supplier Flight Savers can search through 12,000 products from 8,000 suppliers online, giving you access to up-to-the-minute hotel and tour rates and allowing you to confirm your client's itinerary instantly. And should the customer prefer, you can place direct bookings too.
Australian Airlines commenced operations in October 2003 and is a fully owned subsidiary of the Qantas Group. Australian Airlines is the world's first full-service, single-class international holiday airline and is a specialist in international leisure travel. The cabin crew provide a thoroughly professional and friendly service, enabling their passengers to sit back, enjoy the complimentary in-flight meal, watch a new release movie and enjoy the comfort and relaxation. Australian Airlines currently operates Boeing 767 aircraft, which fly over 100 flights per week to 14 ports in six countries. The Australian Airlines network includes Japan, Hong Kong, Singapore and Bali, as well as Cairns, Darwin, the Gold Coast, Sydney and Melbourne. So for an economy flight with all the trimmings required for a superb, comfortable journey, Australian Airlines provide the perfect start to a wonderful holiday. Catching the holiday spirit has never been so easy. Hi, I'm Carol Dre. I'm the new director of flights and ancillaries for Thomas Cook. I'm here at Terminal 4 this evening just to say goodbye to the Thomas Cook team and Aidan from Qantas Holidays who are off uh, to a wonderful trip to Queensland to put together our training video. It'll endorse this amazing new brochure that uh, Qantas Holidays have produced for us. The guys that are going on the trip and putting this video together for Thomas Cook um, are actually guys that are high performers. They've done a fabulous job in selling Australia, um, but, but think about it, it could be you too. Uh, we'll be doing this again, so enjoy uh, and keep selling. I'm looking forward to seeing all the different options of excursions that we have in Queensland. Um, the hot air ballooning will be a really good thing to try out because I've never done hot air ballooning before. The trip so far has been brilliant. Um, getting here and everything from the staff and everything has been brilliant so I feel absolutely fine and refreshed from getting here so far. It's great. I think when you go back to the UK there's nothing more than a personal experience um, to drive business so hopefully with all the highlights that I'm going to see in Queensland, I'll be able to go back and just the enthusiasm, I'll be able to come out and hopefully be able to drive business for Thomas Cook. Um, the staff really from when we left sort of London Heathrow right the way through have been exceeded my expectations really, um, particularly the Qantas staff, they were very, very good. And um, the staff here today, we've actually learned that one of them's coming off being ill for a few days and he's just sort of run around and looked after us all, so it's been really nice. The trip so far has been great. The flight times would suit families. They would sit with young children because it's overnight flights and for me personally it hasn't been as long as I expected it to be. Queensland is such a good holiday destination because of the range of activities that are available here. It, it just seems to have something for absolutely everybody. Uh, I'm looking forward mostly on this trip. I'm looking forward to doing the hot air balloon, doing Hayman Island and just experiencing Australia.
Thomas Cook. How you going? My name's Andrew Janine and they call me the boy from Queensland. Now, I've been asked by the friends at Thomas Cook to show a few of you guys around this beautiful region we have called Queensland. I was born here, I was bred here, I still live here and I love it. Now, in the next week, I'm going to take eight of your guys. We're going to see the rainforest. We're going to see the Great Barrier Reef. We're going to see beautiful islands and beaches. Might even throw in a bit of hot air ballooning. And of course, I reckon we'll catch a crocodile as well. So let's get your hats on, let's hit the road, and let's go and see what we can find. Okay, time's a wasting. It's day one and time's running out on the agenda. So first thing we've got is the Cairns Habitat Cruises. Now, Cairns, you might know, be very famous for its restaurants, for its bars, and of course, the gateway to the Great Barrier Reef. But did you know there's a wonderful array of wildlife? On this tour alone, we will see a landscape that's populated with native bird life, oh, 70 species of fish, and of course, our number one friend, the crocodile. Hopefully we'll see one today. We thought we'd introduce the guys straight away to some of our friendliest neighbors. So now, on this calm water cruise, we're gonna be meandering up and down the Trinity Inlet. On this here, our trusty vessel, the MV Habitat Explorer. We'll see a beautiful landscape, beautiful wildlife, and we'll even have somebody on board the boat that knows what they're talking about. Did you see it? It was a crocodile! Huge teeth! Huge! Okay, now we're going to go and see one of the most impressive but scariest creatures to walk the face of this planet, the crocodile. Now the crocodiles, they get a bit of a bad rap, but let me tell you, they're absolutely delightful! And they Go, guys, guys! In the summertime, they'll always be under the water, but in the wintertime, especially when it's overcast like this, they'll come out of the water to balance their blood temperature. Well, what a wonderful first day. We've had an action-packed day. It's been great. I think all those guys were won over by those beautiful crocodiles, don't you? I'm here by myself because they've all had to go and have a rest because tomorrow's another big day and there's plenty more where that came from. So hang around. Well, really, I think after our flight yesterday, um, to be taken on the really, really lovely river cruise this morning and then to the crocodile farm this afternoon was just exactly what we needed to add to our itinerary. It was nice and calming on the cruise. Um, it made us feel really part of Australia. It was good fun. Really looking forward to the rail journey um, and the cable car coming back down. I think the scenery is going to be fantastic and I'm really looking forward to tomorrow. Ideal for the tropical resort lifestyle, the Lakes Cairns Resort and Spa offers spacious, modern apartments with the convenience of hotel resort services. Set amongst 13 acres of landscape gardens and water features, this superb hotel boasts an extensive range of resort activities and facilities. And all of this is just a short distance away from downtown Cairns and two miles from the city centre. Guests can relax in the lap of luxury or indulge in some of the many on-site activities available. Highlights include four lagoons and pools, two restaurants and two bars, a kids club, health spa and beauty salon, a tennis court and gym, and of course, the modern spacious apartments themselves. All the ingredients for an extremely comfortable and thoroughly enjoyable stay.
G'day guys and welcome back. Day two and we're doing pretty well. Today we're going to Coranda, a town just outside of Cairns, very accessible and in this tour we're going to take on some beautiful things. We're going to see the Coranda Scenic Sky Rail. We're going to go on Sky Rail, the actual rainforest cable car and when we get to the bottom, a bit of Aboriginal culture with a Jabakai dance troupe. So come along with us and let's have an awe-inspiring day. So right now, we're on the Coranda Scenic Rail, heading on the way to Coranda. Beautiful little village in the rainforest, some of the oldest rainforests in the world, right here in this region. So hang on to your hats. When we get up there, we'll go and explore the beautiful heritage village there is to have. local little sleepy village of Coranda and the guys are checking out everything there is to buy from local artifacts and local produce. In fact, I think they like the place so much, they've even set up their very first Thomas Cook retail store. Rail trip was spectacular, you ain't seen nothing yet. Right now, we're on Sky Rail's Rainforest Cableway with awesome panoramic views. I mean, just take a look at this. So this is Upland Complex Wet Tropical Rainforest, so it's a little bit different to what you might find on the coast. There's maybe a hundred different kinds of tropical rainforest. They're like breakfast cereals. It's a bit hard to choose which one you want. Um, but they all have some sort of features in common, so as we go around, I'll point some of these out to you. Right, guys, talk about luxurious accommodation. Check this out. Traditional Aboriginal hotel room, fully equipped with air conditioning, central heating. Can't go wrong, can ya? Look, we're here at Jabakai's Aboriginal Cultural Park which highlights all of the aspects of Aboriginal life, even before White Man was here. They've got the Creation Theatre, which uses holograms and dances to explain what's happening. And out the back, they've got Spear and Boomerang Throne. In between, we've even got a little bit of dancing going on. So let's go and check out what happens at Jabakai. Uh, hey, what? Sorry, Andy. I'm trying to run a professional shoot here. Guys, another huge day full of action in the rainforest. We got to experience 
the oldest way to get up the hill and the newest way to get back down the hill. We even got to see what it was like living tens of thousands of years ago. Another huge day tomorrow, so it's time to get some rest. See you then. Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to day three. Yes, today we're going to do a little bit of snorkeling, a little bit of diving. That means we're going through the Great Barrier Reef. Yes, now the Great Barrier Reef is to Australia what the rolling savannas and game parks are to Africa. It's the biggest reason people come to this very region here in Cairns. So first of all, we're going to shoot on up to Port Douglas, so we'll see you there. Sleepy, picturesque town of Port Douglas. Now come with me. Port Douglas has become infamous with rich and famous. Hollywood superstars, you never know who you're gonna find here. It's their playground. It's great for families, it's great for nightlife. 60 bars and restaurants, let's go and check out this place. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to one of the seven natural wonders of the beautiful world that we live in. This is the Great Barrier Reef. Now this morning so far, we've come from Cairns, Port Douglas, and from Port Douglas out to where we are now, this is Agincourt Reef. We've come on Quicksilver's wave piercing catamarans, which is the best way to travel across the ocean. And as you can see, this is a beautiful, luxurious pontoon with loads of stuff to do. So let's go and have a look at what our guys are up to right now. So we've seen the guys snorkeling, we've seen the guys diving on the Great Barrier Reef, but did you know there's even more ways to see the reef without even getting your hair wet? Right now, I'm in the underwater observatory. Gives you a beautiful outlook onto the coral and the fish life. Another way is to take a semi-submersible tour. It's a submarine that takes you out into the lagoon so you can see what's going out even further away. If you want to see it from the air, you can even do a helicopter trip. So get out there, go and see the reef! Well here we are, on the way back from the reef. And it's the first time we've been able to have a little bit of a chin wag. So I've got young Keely here with me. Keely, what so far has been the highlight of your trip? I really enjoyed yesterday when we went to the Aborigines. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Jabakai, yeah. Jabakai, and just learning about their culture, seeing yeah. the things that they do, that was really interesting. How'd you go with the boomerangs? Yeah, not bad. Not, not too bad, but I had to go. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you'd be able to survive in the bush? I think so, yeah. Yeah? yeah. And how about today? Today, but again, interesting. We've been on the uh, the reef. Yeah. Didn't actually do any diving myself, but no. we went in the semi semi submarine. Yeah. Yes. And that was really good. Seeing and all the fishes, brilliant. Did you go on the underwater observatory? Yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Very, Very cool. Good. Yeah. 
Well, this is us signing out from the reef. What another beautiful day in paradise. We've just come back from the Great Barrier Reef and our guys have seen things they've never even dreamed about. But it's a bit hungry now, so we've decided to pop over to Ridges Reef Resort, have a little bit of tucker before we go home and get a big night's rest because tomorrow is an even bigger day. While you're busy enjoying the delights of the Great Barrier Reef, your luggage will be winging its way towards your next overnight destination, Port Douglas. Port Douglas is an hour north of Cairns and it's another very stylish resort village. The Bay Villas Resort is one of several excellent hotels in the area and is a particularly good choice if you fancy stretching your legs along one of the region's most famous beaches, Four Mile Beach. The sand is literally 300 yards from your apartment. Bay Villas is also situated very close to a range of shops and fantastic restaurants that offer great value. The hotel offers two resort pools, a spa, a barbecue area, as well as free internet and kitchen facilities. Morning! Wakey, wakey, rise and shine, sleepy heads. It's very early this morning, but we've got to get up because you don't want to miss this. You won't believe it. The guys are going hot air ballooning. It's romantic, it's exhilarating, and it's loads of fun too. So we're just going to head west of Cairns up to a little place called Mariba and have a beautiful time. So let's go and get the guys up. <laughs> So far, we've been on boats, planes, trains, and now we can add hot air ballooning to the list. Right now, we're gliding over the Mariba Valley, taking in a little bit of kangaroo spotting as well. Bloody nice times. So what do you reckon, guys? Yeah! yeah! Back down on the coast after our beautiful morning hot air ballooning out over the Australian outback. Now normally we'd go to Jabakai and have our breakfast but because we were there the other day we thought we'd put something on just a bit extra special for the guys. So we're here at Amaru, Trinity Beach, about 20 minutes north of Cairns. Beautiful location to just chill out and relax and hey, check out the view! Welcome back. Here we are at Amaru having a little chat to Linda about her Australian experiences. Oh, the scuba diving? Yeah. Oh, that was fantastic. We were watching that you. That was brilliant. I thoroughly enjoyed good? the scuba diving. Yeah? Yeah. yeah? Why? Because it was one of the best experiences I've had of my life. G'day and welcome back, guys. I'm here having a chat to the big goon of the big cheese, Graham, who's been looking after all of us as we've been frolicking around Queensland. Now, Graham, what so far has been the highlight of your trip? I think the Karanda Day was really, really Karanda good. Day. Yeah, yeah, I think we, we saw so many different things. We mm. went up on the went up on the train, the train. right up into the uh, into the mountains and the saw the rainforest. Rail. Then we came back on the Sky yeah. Rail. Really, really mm. interesting stuff. Mm. Good value for money Absolutely. too. Absolutely, it? yeah, it's very, very good. Mm. Definite for a first timer to the if region. If you're coming yeah. here and you want to see a good variety of mm. things, that's a really good start mm. point. And yeah. the rainforest, of course. Yeah, the rainforest was great, and uh, we saw the. Uh, the spiders and we saw all the, uh, <laughs> all the palms and everything else. No, it was a good laugh, it really was. Cool, cool. And what about this morning? This morning's been great. Mm. Hot air ballooning, mm. absolutely super. Have not that good with heights, but not mm. a problem. Mm. So peaceful and mm. the views were really, really good. Mm. Beautiful, beautiful. And of course, the four o'clock wake up call, that, that's, that's got to be a highlight. Yeah, but you've got to do that, otherwise you <laughs> miss the sunrise, don't you? Exactly, exactly. Now, you up for red ochre tonight? Oh, very much so. It's yeah. authentic Australian cuisine. Uh, it'd be good. I tell you, it'd be very nice. We'll have a little bit of kangaroo. That'd be great A little stuff. bit of crocodile. <laughs> it'd be great fun. That'd be good. Take care and we'll see you soon. Cairns Restaurant Precinct is located on Shield Street and features the award-winning Red Ochre Grill. 
Red Ochre chefs combine up to 40 different native ingredients with the freshest regional produce, including emu, kangaroo, crocodile, tropical fruits, and the very best in seafood. There are many restaurants that offer superb Australian cuisine, but this is one of the most highly recommended examples. After you've literally come back down to earth, you can relax at one of Cairns' best located hotels, the Pacific International. Situated on the main esplanade and overlooking the beautiful Coral Sea and Marlin Marina, it's bordered by the foreshore parklands, a lagoon pool and also a seafront boardwalk to one side. The city's main shops, restaurants and reef casino are all within a stone's throw as well. The Pacific International provides a warm, personalised service that helps to create the most relaxing of tropical experiences. Day five, and we've just transferred down to Hayman, the northernmost island in the Whitsundays group. Hayman is a true five-star resort, renowned for its hospitality and exceptional service. The perfect place to take our guys for a little bit of pampering. Hayman is truly a holiday of five-star elegance and excellence. Enjoy the fabulous beaches or just relax around one of the three swimming pools in the resort. The accommodation offers perfect comfort and luxury and also breathtaking views of the surrounding scenery. Hayman's Health Club is the perfect place to pamper yourself and relax with a massage, which is the ideal way to wind down after enjoying one of the spectacular bushland walks. But whether you want to play sports, sit in the sun, or just relax at the bar with a drink, Heyman provides the ultimate location. Now this morning, we took a transfer from Heyman to Hamilton Island, which is where I am right now. Hamilton Island is in the middle of the Whitsundays group, and it spoils you for everything that you could imagine. They have direct flights, from Brisbane, Sydney, Melbourne, and even Cairns, where we've just come from earlier. Now, entertainment galore. There's bars, there's restaurants, anything you can imagine. But there's activities as well. You can do anything, water skiing, kayaking, you name it, you can do it. The best part is you can see the most beautiful place in the world, Whitehaven Beach. <music> Don't drink. The word koala means no drink animal. You are out koala sanctuary <laughs> on Hamilton Island. And this is Rachel's very excited, aren't you? Yes. Are you going to pat your little me? A little girlfriend, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> little girl, Gretchen. Gretchen. Yeah. Can't believe they're waterproof. Yeah. <laughs> well, they waterproof don't have koala. Shelter, so. yeah, true, true, true.
G'day, Thomas Cook. We're here at Whitehaven Beach. Now, it might seem a little bit calm because that's... I just fell asleep. This is such a beautiful place and I want you to hear something. Just come down here for a minute. Can you hear that? The sand, it squeaks. It's so fine. It's such a beautiful place. And I've just got my two little friends here to ask a little bit of a question. So, Rach, what do you think? Amazing. Look at it. Speaks for itself, doesn't it, really? Well, it does, because it squeaks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Don't you love the comments like that? And Lindsay, have you, um, have you been for a swim or have you just been like lying there? I've just been chilling out and lying in the twisting sand. It's absolutely fantastic. This is tough, tough work, isn't it? Yeah. Huh? It's simply stunning. <laughs> And there's also great barrier reef out here as well, did you know? So just out from Whitsundays, you can come out here to Whitehaven. You can go out to the outer reef. They've got pontoons out there as well. But for now, I think we might go and have a little bit of a chin nap. See you soon. Hamilton Island is abundant with activity, luxury and entertainment. There are six pools and two spas, as well as several bars and restaurants. Twenty speciality shops and boutiques are also situated on site to cater for those who seek a little retail therapy. Meanwhile, those into their sports and fitness can keep themselves busy in the gym, on the tennis and squash courts, or have a go at the variety of water sports available around the resort. Venture further around the island and enjoy a koala gallery wildlife experience, the bushwalking trails and the magnificent marina. All that and not a mention of the gorgeous beaches or the plentiful wildlife, which for many make this resort so worthy of a visit. There are four styles of accommodation available to suit every budget, including the three-star palm terraces, four-star reef view hotel and the five-star luxury of the beach club. Now we've only seen a part of what the Queensland brochure has to offer. The easiest way to start selling is to see the Hot Deals page. It's full of iconic Queensland experiences and great value for money. We haven't even touched on South East Queensland yet. South East Queensland offers everything for the families right through to the five-star lap of luxury. For many tourists coming to Queensland, their holiday wouldn't be complete without a short stay in Brisbane and a few days exploring the Gold Coast and Sunshine Coast of South East Queensland. For those who enjoy a modern cosmopolitan city, Brisbane, Australia's third largest city and the state capital of Queensland, is a must. Brisbane is amongst the most vibrant and exciting cities in Australia. Renowned for its friendliness, perfect weather and buzzing cultural and sporting events throughout the year, Brisbane is another jewel in the Queensland crown. In recent times it has emerged as one of the country's most progressive centres. It has several interesting districts, a good street cafe scene, a great riverside park, a busy cultural calendar and of course a thriving nightlife. The city is also renowned for its sun and the young hordes that follow it, but it's also the arts capital of Queensland, with dozens of theatres, cinemas, concert halls, galleries and museums. This combination of sun, sea, sand and culture makes Brisbane a holiday maker's paradise. The Gold Coast, which lies to the south of Brisbane, is Australia's favourite holiday spot courtesy of its stunning beaches, fabulous shops and dazzling nightlife. The theme parks in the region also provide a great draw for tourists. Warner Brothers Movie World has transported the lights, camera and action of Hollywood to the Gold Coast. 
With a vast array of rides and attractions, Movie World is the ultimate journey through movie magic and perfect for all ages. Sea World is a marine life adventure for all the family. Guests can swim with the dolphins, come face to face with sharks and even meet a polar bear. They can also enjoy spectacular water ski shows and a variety of thrilling rides. Wet and Wild World is Australia's premier water theme park with a full range of fantastic water attractions. It's a wet and wild experience for the whole family to enjoy. The Gold Coast is also home to the ever popular Surfers Paradise, one of the most popular destinations on the East Coast. Meanwhile, the Sunshine Coast, which lies further north, is a little more laid back and relaxed and boasts paradise beaches and incredible surf. It also has its own terrific range of shops and restaurants, exemplified by the fashionable town of Noosa. It's a sad day because everybody's going home today. We're here at the Cairns International Airport in the middle of the rainforest. Just wanted to have a quick chat to the guys to get some of those lasting memories. So Graham, how have you, have you enjoyed your week? It's been absolutely brilliant. We've done so many different things. Cool. Um, and uh, I think just thinking about the best highlights for me, I think yeah. it was the hot air ballooning. Hot air ballooning. There's just so many different uh, things to do it's absolutely great oh that's brilliant and Julie can you see yourself selling Queensland as a two-week destination oh certainly Andrew yeah. there's so much diversity here there's a rainforest a reef beautiful beaches mm. certainly two weeks wouldn't even be enough oh boy. tell me I've been living here all my life and I still haven't seen anything now Rachel you've overcome some of your biggest fears uh -huh. whilst you've been on this trip haven't you definitely yeah. yeah and which is the best one do you reckon I think probably the scuba diving. The scuba diving? For me, yeah, yeah. definitely. Not the yeah. getting on stage and dancing with the Aboriginal? No, I don't think I'll be rushing back to do that quickly as <laughs> the scuba diving, to be honest. <laughs> and Keely, yeah. Keely, what has been, what's been the highlight of your week? Again, just experiencing part yeah. of Queensland. We've, as Graham said, we've seen so much, yeah. experienced so much. People have been fantastic, mm. really helpful staff, just oh, brilliant. brilliant. So Michelle, what have you learned that's going to help you sell Queensland as a two-week destination? Just that um, Queensland's much closer than you think, and uh, from what we've done in a week, then you can definitely fit in a lot more into it. Cool, cool. And Lindsay, what, um, what, have, what have you found about, who's, who's Queensland going to appeal to in the UK? All markets or something for eh? everybody, whether they want to stay at the city or whether they want to go to one of the fantastic beaches mm -hmm. that Queensland's got to offer. Families. Families, yeah. older people, yeah. young couples. Yeah. And we had a few we had a few posh experiences yes, too, didn't we? Very, very, yeah. very posh. <laughs> now Linda, what's been the highlight of your trip in Queensland? Well the whole trip has been a dream trip to call on, mm. but the, the mm. best part's been Graham. Oh Graham <laughs> has been a champion! When he's not asleep, he's doing brilliant things. No, but I, no, on a serious note, the Great Barrier Reef. Great Barrier Reef. Scuba diving yeah. and travelling to Heyman on mm. that luxurious boat. Oh, that Very was nice. lovely. And the uh, early morning wake up call for hot air. Oh, yeah. That was been really good too. <laughs> Very cool. And there's you, uh, one thing I've noticed, and I've said it before, but you seem really, really happy with the people and the lifestyle. Yes. Uh, I think the people have made this trip yeah. really, really special. Oh, cool. Everybody's been so friendly, yeah. helpful, professional, mm -hmm. um, and we've had a wonderful time. Oh, brilliant. And I can't wait to come back. Oh. Okay, guys, unfortunately, that's the end of our trip, but do check out the brochure. We've only been around Queensland in one week. Imagine what you can do in two. So if you've got a customer that's looking to come to Queensland, send them to me. But first of all, I want to give a huge thank you to Thomas Cook, the guys at Qantas and Qantas Holidays, Australian Airlines, and all the suppliers out there that looked after us during this week. So guys, have you enjoyed your week? Yay! On behalf of the Parker Travel Collection and the boy from Queensland, thank you and we'll see you later.